today. We here at All Attack are gonna do what we've never done before. We're gonna defend. These are our top five defensive skills for when you're facing an attacker. You're watching All Attack. Defending from the right distance. When you're defending someone in a 1v1 situation, one of the most important factors in defending well is your distance, or how far away you are from the attacker. See, here's the thing. If you get too close, you make it easy for the attacker to simply touch the ball past you. But on the other hand, if you defend from too far away, then you're giving the attacker a chance to dribble, cross, or even shoot with essentially no pressure. So that's why, if you're defending someone one-on-one, -on -one, you want to defend from the right distance. And depending on the speed the attacker is moving at, that distance is probably about one to four yards away. This is close enough to put pressure on the attacker, but far enough away that it gives you time to react if they try to cut past. Oh, and by the way, we can't really give an exact measurement of distance since it really depends on how fast the attacker is moving and, well, how fast the attacker is. But what we can say is, the more speed an attacker has, the more space you should give them. That way, if they try to run past you, you'll already have a head start on them. Body position. When you defend an attacker, you don't want to face them straight on, with your feet and body facing the attacker. This will make it difficult to move backward. Instead, what you want to do is keep your body turned and your feet staggered. This will allow you to shuffle backward as the attacker moves toward you. And make it easier for you to turn and run if the attacker tries to sprint past you. Patience. When you're defending someone who's running at you, generally speaking, the last thing you want to do is dive in. Reaching for the ball when the attacker has it under their control will make it easy for them to flick it past you. So instead, what you want to do is remain patient. Move with the attacker. Keep them at the right distance. And then, when they make their move to go past you, do your best to anticipate it and react as fast as possible. Get across the attacker. When you have lots of space behind you and the attacker pushes the ball into that space. As a defender, one way to gain an advantage is to run so that your path cuts off the run of the attacker, putting you between them and the ball. Now, some of you might be saying, isn't that a foul? And the answer to that is maybe. See, here's the truth. If you simply step across the attacker and you make no effort to play the ball, then yes, you will probably be called for a foul. But if you genuinely try to get to the ball and along the way you just happen to slant your run, then the ref probably won't call it. The slide tackle. When an attacker is sprinting away from you and you're not gonna be able to contain them. Bend one knee and tuck that leg underneath you. 
Then use the outside of that hip to slide and use your other leg to reach for the ball. And suddenly, the attacker who thought they were away from you will see the ball disappear from right underneath them. All right, everybody, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up right down there. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and make sure to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about football.